Item number, SCP-857, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. The area designated SCP-857 is to be surrounded by electrified fences measuring two meters in height. Any civilians attempting to enter SCP-857 are to be brought into custody and interrogated. After interrogation, Intruders are to be dosed with a Class A amnestic. No specimens of SCP-857-1 are to be allowed to leave SCP-857. Description SCP-857 is a section of the Amazon rainforest measuring one square kilometer. Plants native to the region grow normally in this area, but animal life appear to instinctively avoid it. SCP-857 is populated entirely by what appears to be human organs and body parts, capable of ambulation and basic thought. The source of these specimens are currently unknown, and they will hereafter be referred to as SCP-857-1. Specimens of SCP-857-1 are non-hostile towards humans and vary wildly in form and function. See Specimen Log 857. These mobile body parts appear to have been crudely altered to allow for movement and consumption of food. For example, most specimens do not possess an actual working mouth, but a large artificial orifice in the flesh that superficially resembles a mouth. The method by which specimens of SCP-857-1 digest food is currently unknown. Although SCP-857-1 are naturally incapable of reproduction, no decrease in the number of observed specimens has been noted. Exploration is currently underway in an effort to discover the source of SCP-857-1. Specimen Log 857 Designation SCP-857-1A Further information Each specimen of SCP-857-1A is composed primarily from a human head. Unnatural bone growths have given SCP-857-1A two rudimentary arms and six legs. SCP-857-1A moves in a manner similar to that of a crab. SCP-857-1A specimens are scavengers and have been observed consuming carrion left by predators. Designation SCP-857-1B Further information Each specimen of SCP-857-1B is composed of one human vein. SCP-857-1B specimens move in a manner similar to that of worms. SCP-857-1B specimens are herbivores and have been observed eating plants fallen onto the forest floor. Designation SCP-857-1C Further information Each specimen of SCP-857-1C is composed of human brain tissue. SCP-857-1C specimens move similarly to slugs and leave a slimy trail behind them. SCP-857-1C instances have been observed to consume SCP-857-1B specimens. Designation SCP-857-1-D Further information Each specimen of SCP-857-1-D is composed primarily of a lower intestine. SCP-857-1-D specimens are aquatic and reside in the river that runs through SCP-857. SCP-857-1-D specimens have been observed to consume underwater plants. Designation SCP-857-1-E Further information Each specimen of SCP-857-1-E is composed of a human spine. SCP-857-1-E moves in the manner of a centipede, using irregular bone growths. SCP-857-1-E specimens are predators, and have been observed hunting and consuming specimens of SCP-857-1A. Designation 
SCP-8571-F. Further information. Each specimen of SCP-8571-F is composed from a human heart. SCP-8571-F is immobile. SCP-8571-F is parasitic and has been observed to latch onto specimens of SCP-8571-C, sucking their blood in the manner of a leech. Designation SCP-8571-G Further information Each specimen of SCP-8571-G is composed primarily from a patch of human skin, with two unnatural bone growths enforcing a general shape. Specimens move by gliding from tree to tree. SCP-8571-G are predators and will hunt SCP-8571-C and SCP-8571-A in large swarms. Designation SCP-8571-H Further information Each specimen of SCP-8571-H is composed primarily from a human ribcage. Specimens move in a manner similar to spiders and reside in the treetops. Specimens of SCP-8571-H are predatory, often leaping on and consuming passing SCP-8571-C. Designation SCP-8571-I Further information Each specimen of SCP-8571-I is composed primarily from a human head. SCP-8571-I are identical to SCP-8571-A, with the exception of more pronounced arms and the presence of opposable thumbs. SCP-8571-I specimens are fairly intelligent and reside in simple tribal structures. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, Go watch SCP-856, Leopotamus, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.